Yep, this is me in 1999, more than 20 years ago in New York, a small kid from Prague on a trip to the Big Apple. But let's take this tape that I found and rewind it to the very beginning. Yep, that's me in the summer of 1999 when my parents decided to send me to America, to United States, to visit my relatives, my dad's sister, who emigrated Czechoslovakia in the 70s and started a family in New Jersey. So I packed up my things and my mom and my sister took me to the Prague airport. Now, when you travel, or when you travel back then as an 11 year old kid, you can't really travel by yourself. So I was handed from a flight attendant to another flight attendant. And since I was transferring in London, they actually put me to a special room where I was waiting for my connecting flight. And since it was my first time flying anywhere, I was obsessed with planes. I was filming the runway, the busy, busy airport Heathrow. And you can imagine that in 1999, the planes were different, but also there was one plane that is not flying anymore. So I actually had a glimpse and I took a video of the Concorde. My family back then, and they still live in New Jersey, uh, so it was a trip to go to New York City. And my cousins, uh, Sheila and Tommy, uh, put me in a car and we drove for about an hour to the Big Apple. Now, I don't remember much from this, so most of the info I'm actually getting is from the video itself. But I can see that we parked in a garage. I did this nice little transition from New Jersey to New York. And as you watch the video, I was actually able to figure out that we parked in Hoboken and we took the path from Hoboken to World Trade Center. And since we got out at World Trade Center, our first steps led to the World Trade Center, to the Twin Towers, to the observation deck. So as we are rolling up the escalator, you can see the inside of the Twin Towers. The elevator I'm a stud. And I'm a child. You can see my cousin Sheila showing the ticket to the Twin Tower, uh, which was $11. Uh, it says stud because she was a student. And I can clearly remember her complaining how expensive, how ridiculous the price was. You know when you go up the World Trade Center? Did you go up top? It's a friggin' ripoff! 11 bucks for students, 620. That's a shitload of money. 11 bucks is a lot. Cost us half the money we had. Oh, to get the elevator? Yeah, yeah dude. I didn't Did they know they charge you money to take the elevator there. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was like three or four bucks. It was like $12, uh -huh. right? It's no. ridiculous. Just to give you a perspective, today, if you want to see the observation deck of the One World Trade, you'd have to pay $43. We took the elevator, uh, 107 floors, all the way to the top. And I can absolutely remember that I was shocked. It was the first time I ever saw a big, big city and the first time I saw skyscrapers and such an amazing view. Here, Tom, let me take a picture of you. Here we have Yannick, about to jump off of the World Trade Center with his parachute. It was possible to go to the actual rooftop, to the terrace, so you could walk outside on the south tower of the Twin Towers. Let's go outside. So uh, we're walking around and my cousin Sheila actually pointed out a place where a guy walked across in between the Twin Towers and he signed the pole there. His name is Philip Petit. He did it in 1974 and there's a great movie about it called The Walk. So if you never saw it, I recommend it. By the way, all the footage from the top of the World Trade Center has a weird noise uh, on the actual footage. So if I play you a little piece, you can hear that clearly here. Sure. 
Now I've watched other footage from the Twin Towers and many other camcorders did the same thing. The only explanation I have to this is that there's these huge antennas or one antenna on the North Tower. So it was probably uh, doing some interference with my camcorder or with all the camcorders that were used back then. With Tommy, my cousin, we took this great picture where you can see the camera that I was filming on in my hands. Uh, it was an eight millimeter analog uh, video cassette. And you can see uh, Tommy's hat in the picture, which uh, later disappeared or he lost it in the wind. And me as an 11 year old kid, I had a blast about it. Did I kill the my sweet chip? I didn't do the best camera job there is, but you can take a glimpse uh, looking north at Midtown Manhattan and you can clearly see the Empire State Building and you can see how tall it is or how tall it was because nowadays many new buildings are built around it, making it look much smaller. I was just recently in New York and I was shocked with all these pencil towers that are growing uh, near the Central Park and they're changing the skyline of New York very much. As we were going down from the buildings, taking the elevator and we reached the bottom floor, I actually said this. <laughs> I would never ever believe in my life that this uh, sentence, this silly line that I said would actually be true. As I already said, my camera job was not the best at the time, so I didn't have the best shots of the Twin Towers. But as we got down, my cousin suggested that we should go have a lunch. Uh, and we decided to go to Canal Street to Chinatown to have some Chinese food. Make the game in a Chinatown, okay, in a Canal Street. Great that the one name is she will it's a game which is copy the who's new yet see a co she visa which key she visa which key a taki who's new yet see electronic care a restoration be born a not her me no is it only to that it would like to stay my Now, Canal Street is one of my favorite places in New York City, but we'll get back to that in a minute. I spent the rest of the summer in New Jersey. I was actually going to a summer camp uh, where my aunt sent me, uh, and I spent the rest of the summer eating Fruit Loops because we actually don't have those uh, in Czech Republic, so I was absolutely crazy about them. Now I did one more trip to New York City that summer uh, with my aunt. She um, took me in a car. We drove across George Washington Bridge. I filmed her paying tall because that's something I never saw before. She paid $4. Uh, just to give you an idea, today you have to pay $16 if you want to take the bridge or the tunnel to Manhattan. Now I cannot imagine where she parked, but somehow she found a parking spot and we took a trip around Canal Street. And she did buy me some gifts there. Well, that's not all I bought. You can also see that I'm wearing Niagara Falls t-shirt because on this trip to US, I also visited my uncle in Canada, but that's not from Canal Street. Now I was looking for the watch I'm showing in the video. I remember it was a green Swiss army watch. Uh, I did not find it, but on my future trips to New York and to Canal Street, me and my dad would always buy fake Rolexes. So here they are. Rolex number one, Rolex number two, and what are these bright links? The total price of 55,000, no, they were like $10 a piece. I don't know why me and my dad do this, but it's kind of a thing. <laughs> Just to be clear, I don't wear them, neither does my dad. And one of the coolest things you can do in New York City, since uh, Manhattan is an island, is that you can take a ferry to another borough, which is Staten Island. And the ferry runs for free. So that's exactly what we did. 
mainly you take this trip because you get a beautiful view uh, of the Statue of Liberty, which was something that I obviously knew from movies. Uh, so I took many shots of that. Now, once you reach Staten Island, you either stay on the ferry or you switch to another one. I think you have to switch uh, and you go back. The ideal time to do this trip is just before the sunset because on the way from Manhattan, you still have the light out and on the way back, uh, the skyline is slowly lighting up uh, with all the light bulbs that there are on Manhattan. In this case, and in this year, still with the Twin Towers and also with Yannick, the 11-year-old honest guide. On the way back, we took the Lincoln Tunnel, uh, and as you leave it in Weehawken, you actually get a glimpse of the city once again, because I'm sure if you've been to New York City or if you live there, the nicest views of the city are away from the city. And you can see here the Empire State Building, and it's actually a route that I take quite often when I go from New Jersey to New York. And this view is changing rapidly with all these buildings being built where you cannot see the Empire State Building anymore from certain angles. Now you can imagine that as 11 year old for the first time in the States, I got some souvenirs for my friends and family. Um, but I remember I was mostly filling the suitcases with Fruit Loops. And when I say suitcases, yes, back then in 1999, you were allowed two full-size suitcases for free included in your ticket. Now I actually had three because my aunt simply went to the check-in at Newark airport and she said, oh, it's his first time, you know, and he has three suitcases. Would you mind if he just checks all of them? And the guy was like, not a problem. Yeah, would never happen in a nowadays airline industry. Now, since 1999, I've returned to New York City multiple times, uh, usually to visit my family or just to hang around. I actually found a video from 2004 where I was going all artistic because I had a video camera with a wide angle lens. So I was walking around the city filming everything, especially the naked cowboy. And I went there again uh, multiple times to film, but uh, professionally. Uh, I was there with Hansa. Uh, we were filming there one of the Honest Guides episode. I was there with my friend architect, uh, Adam Gebrian. We were filming about architecture. Uh, I was filming there a German TV show. If you're from Germany, you may know the Achtung Abzocke. So with Peter and his crew, we were uh, chasing scammers around the city. Now, if you personally ask me what is my absolute favorite guide to New York City, and if you're looking for something like that, you should definitely check out the Glove and Boots video, my absolute favorite. I always make everyone who goes to New York City watch it because it's the most honest guide there is. I want you to come experience my beautiful city, but you're a tourist. That means you're a jerk. So that was the 20, more than 20 year old tape from New York that I had here in my closet. I'll put it back there to stay for another 20 years. Uh, and we'll uh, share another video with you here from Prague, Czech Republic next week on our channel, The Honest Guide. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm very much looking forward to the discussion about New York City under this video. And I'll teach you a Czech word at the end. We always do that. Uh, this time it will be how to say little traveler, which I was back then. So I was malý cestovatel. Malý is little. Malý cestovatel. Traveler. Cestovatel. Malý cestovatel. Janek.